So the first foramen we're going to look at is the foramen ovale, which is in the sphenoid bone right here. A little bit posterior to that, we have the foramen spinosium right here, just a small little foramen there. Then medial, we have the foramen lucerum, and lucera means torn or ragged. Then going back a little bit, we have the carotid canal right here. At the junction between the between the junction between the temporal and the occipital bone, we have the jugular foramen, which is right there. This is the styloid process, and here is the mastoid process, and the foramen that's between the two of them is the stylomastoid foramen. If we look under here, we have a foramen right here, and this is the hypoglossal canal. We have another foramen that's not open on this skull that's called the condylar canal. And right on the roof of the palate by the incisors, we have the incisive foramen. If we turn the skull sideways, we can see that we have the external auditory meatus. And if we look in here, we can see where we have the foramen ovale right here. The foramen rotundum is right here, also coming through the sphenoid bone. Either side of the crystal gala on the ethnoid bone, we have the cribriform plate with the olfactory foramen, a little deteriorated in this specimen. The internal auditory meatus is right here in the temporal bone. And if we take an anterior view, we can see above the orbit of the eye we have the supraorbital notch, and then here we have the infraorbital foramen. On the chin, we have the mental foramen here, and then on the inside of the mandible, we have the mandibular foramen right here.